Right guys, this is going to be the video for the GTX 480 Lightning gameplay video. Uh, if you want to see these kind of specs any better, then you can uh, just go into 1080 mode and you'll be able to see stuff a lot easier. Um, basically, <coughs> I'm going to have uh, fraps running. I just need to change it so that it sits in the right corner. So it'll be up here. You'll see the frames per second up there. Now, I need to... Uh, be very clear about something. We've got we've upped the voltage by what they say is plus 100. Now that I've also overclocked it, so it's 900 on the core. Now I know a lot of people are instantly going to start thinking that's miles off a thousand, but for a 980, 900 on the core is awesome. Go and have a look on HWBot, you'll see. Do you know what I mean? The top 10 scores on HWBot for a 480, none of them are 900. So anyway. 900 on the core, awesome. 1800 on the shader, and I've left the memory at 2000. The fans are also on auto, so while the game's playing, listen to the fans. But the thing is, is what I, like I said, I need to uh, say to you is that the fans are going to spin up because of the stress on the car, but it's because of the overclock. Now, although this is going to be louder than, for argument's sake, a 5870. We need to remember that this is a 480 that's having the nuts roasted off of it. This is the max possible overclock and uh, it plays fine. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to play some uh, Crisis and it will be fully maxed out. We're not going to be bothered with gamers, it's all going to be on enthusiast settings with uh, 1920 by 1200 res and we're also going to max out Metro as well. But I'm going to be quiet now and we'll get down to the games. <clears throat> right guys, just to show you quickly, uh, anti-aliasing, 16 times Q, uh, absolutely maxed out on the anti-aliasing and everything's on enthusiast as well. So everything's turned up, I have done all the other little bits as well but that's just to show you. But now we'll go into the game. Right then you lot, as ever I'm not doing very well on Crisis but then again that's not really a big surprise is it? Um, the fans are spun up because I've been playing the game. Uh, frames a second up here, don't forget it's on max. And also don't forget that the card's overclocked, that's why the fans are spinning. I just wanted to show you what it can do when it's overclocked and sort of like the fans spin. So it's a worst case scenario if we clock the bollocks out of it. No laughing at my crisis.
shoot. Anyway, you get the idea, even with it maxed out, we're getting about 30 frames a second. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be going, oh, my card does that. But yeah, this is at 1920 by 1200. Everything is completely cranked. So, do you know what I mean? If we were playing this in, in gamer mode with it, with no AA, this would be about 70 frames a second. So anyway, let's move on to Metro. on Metro and obviously Metro doesn't it's just so do you know what I mean it, it gobbles up frames a second it's it never really seen very high at all what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this now so you can see it's flicking around 32 35 this is overclocked um, and then I'm going to in a second turn it back to stock so you can hear the difference with the fan so you can see the difference also, uh, thanks for the reinstall and me not saving the files um, right at the beginning of Metro again. So, it's, you know, I mean, I'll just show you a quick bit here and then we'll show you another bit without it overclocked so you can hear the fan difference. Even though we've got such a massive card really doesn't make an awful lot of difference to Metro. Anyway, I want to show you it uh, not overclocked quickly. Right then, as you can see we're now not overclocked. The frames per second hasn't really made any difference. And with other games it makes a massive difference. I mean, yeah, okay, it's flicking around the sort of like 33, 34 mark. But normally you'd expect to see a massive difference, especially with this card. It's really not that much of a big deal. It's just the way Metro is. It's just such a resource eater. You don't really see the big gain, gains that you'd expect. And I know we're not in a, a fighting stage at the moment, so it's not really stressing the cards at all. But there you go, but one of the things I wanted to show you is just listen to how quiet the fans are now. Uh, and if you were playing this with a normal 480, the fans would already be up around 60-70% and making you deaf even at stock. So it just goes to show you quite how good the uh, um, the twin frozer cooler is on the GTX 480. We'll, we'll just let this section of it play through so that you can see the frames per second.
But the, the overclock, with this game at least, it really doesn't make any difference. The frames per second are going up a lot higher on this section because it's it's more of a video rather than actual sort of like simulated gameplay. And that's why it's flicking up so much higher. But anyway, as we said before, GTX 480 Lightning. Uh, I think this is probably the best that the 480s are going to get. Um, so we're quite happily going to give it a gold award. Uh, yeah, Tiny Tom Logan out.